This ain't no joke, this ain't no game. Who's gonna carry the motherfucking ghost in the halls? I am, motherfucker. I am, motherfucker. Loneliness, a little bit of disregard, handful of complaints, but I can't help the fact that everyone can see these scars. I am what I want you to want, what I want you to feel, but it's like no matter what I do, I can't convince you to just believe this is real. So I let go, I'm watching you, turn your back like you always do, face away and pretend that I'm not, but I'll be here because you're all that I got. I can't. Whoa! Let me zoom you out. You guys are a little bit, a little bit too close there. We need to at least buy me dinner first. Yo, what's up? So we are now in San Antonio. I decided to do something fun. I'm working with Grunt Style right now. I have the first pull-up YouTube video filmed as of now. It's not edited because I do everything myself. Comma, however, I'm gonna try to get that done. But they have a gym inside the Grunt Style HQ in San Antonio. I'm here for Comic Con, so I am gonna try to film the second episode with this. I just did a little bit of a hotel workout. It was like 30 minutes, not much, but just trying to get something in. On our way to get some coffee and food, and then I'm gonna head to the HQ, and I will see you there, so, hello. I wanted to show you guys something cool. So, using this for protein, if you guys don't know, see if I can get it in the light. I am sponsored by Muscle Tech. So this is like protein powder, except instead of it tasting like chocolate, it tastes like fruit, so it's almost like a protein water. Um, personally, I don't like chocolate when it's 110 fucking degrees outside, so that's just my opinion, but I'm trying that out. I like it. If you guys want it, go Nate, but about to go to lunch, so you guys are looking like snacks. Look at that. Ooh. It's very annoying. Hello, Brandon. We are now walking into Grunstadt. Oh, that one, that squeaked pretty good, honestly, man. Oh, it's squeaky. It's squeaky. Oh, yeah. oh, there's people. When we moved in, kind of during COVID, as a, as a reminder of all the people that were serving during COVID, you know, our armed forces and our first responders, that were, while everybody else was kind of bunkered down, these guys and gals were out there still telling the line, taking care of people, taking care of the community. And the POW at my table, you know, we all know everything on here is significant in some fashion. So that's, that's our store here, a patch wall. That is nifty. Leave a patch and then we'll give you a free grunt style patch and we've got a challenge from wall as well. That is cool. Shee. What if they have a third ID one? Where's the, the static TV? I'm surprised we don't have Oh, I do not have a static TV. Tragic. Tragic. People whose stories may not have been told throughout the history of the United States. So minorities, the Native Americans that helped us in the Revolutionary War against the British, um, and then moving forward, you know, Buffalo soldiers during the Civil War, Rosie the Riveter, uh, Master Sergeant Roy Benavides, which is the original violent but true bedtime story of Tim Rowe. And if you don't know Master Sergeant Benavides' story, he was in Vietnam, he was a Special Forces operator. And his team went out on patrol and started taking contact. So Master Sergeant Benavides commandeered a helicopter and went out there with a bowie knife and just started stacking bodies and brought his team back <laughs> on the helicopter that he uh, borrowed. So, Congressional Medal of Honor recipient, and then as we move forward, we I have the female service members that served during the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And then this oak leaf cluster down here, if you're familiar, signifies a repeat award. And actually, all the veins there is a topographical map of Afghanistan. Oh, shit. Everything here has it's very been, symbolic. Very symbolic yeah. of why Grunt Style is here and what we do and why we do what we do. We're a post 9-11 GWAT company. Without that time period, we wouldn't be doing what we do. So we are now in the bottom of Grunt Style HQ. I'm gonna do my pull-ups. I have my taco. I have my coffee that just fell apart right there. And we're gonna get out of way now, so. Say hi, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> okay. I'm a boat, I'm not sure. Now, we're going to ride back. 
and that is my counter instead of the whiteboard. And now we're at 30 seconds. Here we have Nate and his natural <laughs> We are doing, we're doing 10, 10 on every minute and a half right now to 100 probably. And then we're gonna rock six. Six on a minute, maybe we're at 40 right now. That's our 15. In like 14, 14 seconds. There you go, there you go. Say how gross it is. So that is 10 to 10 for 100. Now we're gonna do six on a minute until I gotta leave and see how many I crank out. When I heard the pull-up record was 4,020 pull-ups, and I was talking about breaking this record, people are like, oh my God. I went right to a pen and paper. Like, what are you doing? I'm doing the math, man. You have to be open-minded to the possibilities that I can do this. You gotta mean this. Like, you gotta be desperate. This is no game, this. It's like, my life is not everything I want it to be, and perhaps it's not everything that I need it to be. Obsession's gonna be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? I don't have no hair on my head, but my hair on my chin is jerking over this right now. I have never met anybody who became incredibly successful in any area of their life until they have suffered and sweated and sacrificed and kept their focus.